It's the best of the Jake Hasman Show. Let's go, baby. Look, there are stigmas that get attached to teams who have a really bad run. When I was a kid, the New Orleans Saints fans wore bags on their heads when they would go to games. And 10 years later, they were Super Bowl contenders. The New England Patriots, when I was in college and I went to Boston College, we would get Jets and Giants games routinely on television in Boston because for four years, the Patriots never sold out a home game. And the blackout rules gave us New York area of football games on Boston TV because the Patriots were so terrible that nobody wanted to go see them. And there was always this perception that they're never going to get out of their own way. They're always going to lose until they got good. And then they won. At some point, you get a really good team and they stay healthy and they win. And clearly, if you look at this team on paper, that could be this year for the Jets. It's just a question of whether or not to keep the quarterback on his feet. If they do, they're going to win this year. I mean, there's nobody that objectively would look at this roster and wouldn't see talent at pretty much every single position. Charles Gorman as Maniac Men's Premium Tank Top. Are you excited to rock it, Charles? Maybe. You're giving us a lot of chest today, Charles. I like it. Thank you. Um, Tom Ace said you have a robust chest. Carly wrote it, Charlie Chest Hair. Thanks, Carly. I appreciate that. <laughs> Bobby Midnight 2024, in honor of the merch store launching tonight. You realize no one thinks you're actually running for president, right? No, I guess not. I just don't want politics to be involved with it. I don't think anyone is actually confusing your politics with. I'm getting confused with politics. It does feel like multiple people, Bob, are going to write you in during the election. No, don't. Addison says, I'm writing in Robert Woodruff at the polls. First of all, don't call me Robert. You Tom know says, that. I'm writing in Bobby Midnight on November 5th. Oh, well, that's your problem. He says, I'll take Bobby over Kamala and Trump any day. Uh, politics suck, okay? Tom writes in, what are Bobby's foreign policies and plan for fighting inflation? Tom, you go blow it out your ear, okay? Midnight 2024. Why are you telling him he's not going to be an actual candidate? What's wrong with you, Jake? We are pushing this, and we are pushing it quickly. That's why, because he's going to leave the show, which he just did, thanks to you, Dick. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Goodbye, Nick. Whose side are you on? I, I, I'm just going to come in and uh, uh, ask you, have you seen the new part of my tape with Rogers? I just want to talk about his body physique. You know what I mean? Uh, again, I'm not gay, but I... I this, this conversation got weird fast. The dude looks like he's in great shape. You know what I mean? Like, the dude has a body of a 25-year-old. Uh, again, I, I'm not gay. Bobby is actually called back in under the name Bubby slash Sarah 2024. So, Bobby, you're on board with it. I like it. That's Gator again. Gator, you're going to get popped in the head. <laughs> Jake's the Muffin Man. I am not the Muffin Man. I don't know. Gator wrote in. Bob from Vermont. Do you know the Muffin Man? No, I don't know, Gator. And change my name back, please. Lane, what's going on? I don't think the Buffalo Bills could wear white if the Jets were wearing white. It doesn't make sense. Garrett Wilson and the Jets have a new coach. His name is going to be um, Nobu, Nomo Robert Sala. He also has to like keep talking to his players going into the locker room. Attention, please. We have to do better going into to, um, tonight's game. We have to play better. We got to move the ball around. We have to focus more. And we also have to do a lot of other passing. So they need to hear that before week one. Yeah, and it's funny how you put me in a suit in the draft and I... Da -da -da, da -da -da. <laughs> Wait, you did that? Or you took somebody's suit and put it on me? The pick goes to Kenobel out of college. You gonna pick a blue suit for me? What am I, Anchorman? From, um, I looked like from that movie, the Anchorman movie. I'll let you go, bye. You can't teach greatness, folks. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm being told that there is potentially a new intro for one of our great callers. Hi, everybody. This is Bob from Vermont. I am Bob, of course. Who did that, Gator? It's just another one of those silly, happy Gator moments. Well, you think I know how to do that? I'm noticing, like, something on your, like, mouth. Is that, like, a food stain or something? What's going on there? I don't know where. Like a leftover ham sandwich? What am I looking at here? Maybe it's ketchup. I think it's got to be ketchup. Yeah, you might want to wipe that down. I'm sorry, guys. I'm a pig. <laughs> <laughs>
Ladies and gentlemen, joining us right now is an absolute legend and someone that fans of the Bobby Midnight program know oh so well. She's from Australia, the golden blonde beauty. I can't live without her. That girl makes me freaky. Sarah the angel is everyone's sweetie. If she dumps her husband, I'll be her next beefy. Sarah. Good morning. Good morning, Sarah. Now, I have a surprise for you. Oh, Ladies my. and gentlemen, joining us right now is Sarah's co-worker, Craig, also in oh, Australia. Oh, Craig sent me a photo here, and full disclosure, I haven't seen it myself yet. I'm just uploading it now, so I'm going to put it up on the screen. Craig <laughs> insists <laughs> that we have you break this photo down live on the air. So, Sarah, break this down for us. <laughs> it was a good night. Bottom left in particular, what exactly is That's happening the one. here? That's our esteemed colleague, Mario. He likes the ladies, let's put it that way. And they're, they're a fan of him too. Now, Sarah, I have to do it because when things like this occur on the show, there's only one thing I could play. I like good looking chicks in that thing. Wow. Bobby. Oh, yeah, baby. Things are about to get crazy here on the Cheek Hasman Show. Calm your freaky down. Sometimes we try. Or that freaky just take us over. Give him some of your loving voice. Oh, yeah, hide them kids. Again, leave your damn freaky now. Too sexy. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta chill, yep. man. In all fairness, I'm just posing. Mario's the one doing the... <laughs> the the I haven't looked at the chat yet, but I'm sure there's a lot of freaky that needs to be calmed down at this point. We hear there's someone in an orange lawn chair on their way to Australia. Oh, no. Yeah, Mario better watch his PQs <laughs> if I come over there and make some spaghetti sauce out of him. Mario, you're in trouble. <laughs> My Sarah, you don't embarrass her like that, putting your face to her butt cheeks. That's <laughs> not good. That is disgusting, Mario. He probably was like three sheets to the wind when he did it. So I might give him a pass for that. It was more than three. How are you even going to explain this to Mario? Oh, I don't know. He better have a good explanation, I tell you that much. Oh, yes, He's... the deal with the wrath of Bobby. Yeah. I'll be letting the feds know to keep an eye on the border for a guy from Vermont with an orange um, lawn chair. chair. <laughs> I'm not going to slam the, my chair over his head. Can we organize that? Let me do and my I, show live for whatever work function this thing is. My God. Calm your freaky down, Bobby. Bobby, what did you make your name? Get away from her butt, says. <laughs> yeah, I know who did that. That was so good. comments I could make. Sarah, what if I put this on a t-shirt in the merch store? How would you feel about that? Oh. <laughs> no, you better not. Jake, if you did that, you'd be rich. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> No. That'd Do you think Mario would buy one? Everyone would buy one. I pre-ordered hashtag Sarah Booty. <laughs> <laughs> well, this was a tremendous first call from Sarah on the show. We accomplished a lot, I feel like. I'm going to play Sarah off the only way I know how. Ladies and gentlemen, the rousing rendition of Oh Bubby. Hey, guys. Guess who's with me now? Oh Bubby. It's the girl who makes my free D roll. Oh Bubby. She's the only one I let sit on my chair. Oh Bubby. With her beautiful face and her long blonde hair. Oh, Bubby, I mean, you know I'd stop by more often if you clean up this mess. Oh, Sarah. Is that an old ham sandwich over there, Bubby? Yes, Sarah. Do you think I'm prettier than 3D Gary, Bubby? Of course, Sarah. Because you said he's good looking with his long, sweet hair. Oh, Sarah, I thought it was his wife. Show's not over, but that photo's too funny to not show another time. Oh, my God. Let's have a company of Craig and Sarah working for. What type of work function is this? I think we got our next emoji, that bottom left photo. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, look, Lucia Scott's here. Oh, uh, hold on. I'm battling some heat exhaustion. Hold on. It's 100 degrees in that kitchen, so I just... Scotty, too hotty. The merch store is open, baby, okay? I love it. Get I your take out that koozie. Here we go. Oh, the Gorman. Let's go. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, the big fella. Wow. Oh, up, what a surprise this is. How How's about it going? That? Chef Kevin is the man, and I, I love that the big fella is stopping by. Well, that yeah, is man. awesome. Look at this, bro. <laughs> right. so, I, I love it. Nate, I can't hear you. I don't know why. I think it's because you're wearing a med hat. We'll come back to you, Nate. What I'm trying to make my point is, Jake, is that there's a lot of good edge rushes in this league. Do I think all 19 of them are better than Hassan Reddick? Absolutely um, not. 
But I'm trying to make my point is that um, you know, what, are, what are you trying to make fun of me now? What are you talking about? You keep pressing some button in the background to make me go, um, um. That was, ga that was Gator, to be fair. It's just a of all of those silly fucking Gator moments. What are your thoughts on the fact that the Charles Gorman-inspired tank top in my merch store has been one of the biggest sellers so far? It's fine. This is the year. I know it's, this is the year. I feel it. Let's go. Oh, G-E-T-S. Jet, jet, jet. I'm officially a J-E-T-S. Jet, jet, jet. Look at this. I can't wait to wear this at work tomorrow, baby. Wow. <laughs> Look at this. Bobby. There he is. What? I turned you off. What the hell? <laughs> Carly, you never got back to me about our second date. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm, st I'm still sitting here waiting. BMAC, thank you for the time. That was one of the horniest phone calls in the history of the show. <laughs> Hi. Hey, Carly. So, uh, so you're cool. getting around, huh? BMAC, uh, Bobby, Bobby too. Is Bobby in there as well? Oh, no. Oh, Is no. Bobby in there? Oh, he's here, baby. Hi, Carly. How you doing? <laughs> there he you is. Doing, you're doing an excellent job on your uh, job. You're doing. <laughs> J E T S Jets, 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 J E T S Jets, Jets, Jets. Whoa. Let's go, baby. Neil is up next. Hello, Neil. Got my merch. Excellent. Everybody get your merch. Goodbye. These goddamn exploding cigars. Here, I wanted to show you in the chat some real quick. My sister did this tattoo. Wow. That's awesome, man. <laughs> but I hope you have a girlfriend. I think you should have a girlfriend. No, I'm single. I'm single. Wow. All well, the girls should be happy. Wow. Yeah. I'm enjoying the single life. Well, I am too. Angela oh, yeah. says, Bobby, I love you. I don't float that way. I'm sorry. You don't. <laughs> which no, which no. way do you float? I float for the girls. I don't go, you know. You sure? Oh, is that Gary's wife? Hi, Gary's wife. Oh, there she is. Good looking. <laughs> do you always have to embarrass me like that? <laughs> yep. Yeah. You made me feel like poop. Oh, stop so, it, Bobby. It's all and, good fun. We love you. You make my day every day, twice a day, Jake, and so do all the wonderful Jet fans. Every touchdown this year, guys, 10 members just for every single touchdown during the regular season, I pledge. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? A no, I am score. serious. You get right. I mean, Rodgers is throwing for, like, five touchdowns in a game this year. There's going to be, like, what is it, 10 There's going to be 50 memberships. There's going to be Sprague sprees all over. I am the master of the Sprague spree. Take this, Jake, you little bitch. Bernard Nixon. Any? Hold on, BMAC. Question for you. Any, any, any relation to Richard? Oh, Richard president? Nixon, the president? Yeah. Yeah, no fish shit, but he's white. Is he? Yeah, and I'm and I'm black. Are you? Yeah, I mean, can you see me? Yep. Thanks for the time, B Mac. They make some good points. Are you surprised, Ben? I'm not trying to insult. You. I'm just asking you a serious question. That you have non-Jet fans who are fans of this show. Like your your, your show. Like, have you ever watched a Packers or a Bengals? YouTube show ever. You know what I'm saying? Like, are you surprised? Never. Never. Right? So like, are you surprised that like they found you and they're fans of your show? Yes. Uh we had a lot of BYU fans after they drafted Zach Wilson too that tuned in. I'm sure a lot of those left. But BYU it at least makes sense, right? Like yeah. they don't have an NFL team in Utah, so why not follow Zach Wilson who was the second pick in the draft, you know? That makes sense. But like Chiefs fan or the, the, the Matt from Cincy, like we don't always know what teams they root for. Like, what team is Chiefs fan a fan of? Chiefs fan? I, I would, I would, I would, I would say the Chiefs. It's probably a safe assumption. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, I do think you have an issue on your hand, though, Gary. Yeah, what? there's so, there's someone very high up in the Jake Asman universe that is not a fan of yours. In fact, this person sent me this to play on the show when you call in. <laughs> Here, here's what I'll say. I don't know who made this, but thank you for making it. You thought enough of me to take three minutes out of your day at least to make that. So I'm, I'm, I'm glad that I'm on your mind for at least. <laughs> it's a great photo of you. It really is. 
Is, is this Gator that did that, or is this, is this an, uh, an unknown, unnamed artist? All I'm going to say is, it won't be hard to figure out who made it. This is a Gator creation. It's just another one of those silly, happy Gator moments. Can I ask for one thing? Uh, I, can I guess what you're going to ask? Yes. You're going to ask for me to play the Chicken and Pasta song. Yes, please. <laughs> Decker, you have a great, great day. We'll talk to you soon. Chicken doesn't go with pasta. Don't you know it's disgusting? Chicken can't go with pasta. Why? Because of the texture. Instead, go get yourself pizza at the closest shell gas station. Because chicken don't go with pasta. I just discovered dogs your pets. What a call. Why is Bobby mad nowadays? I'm not mad. Shut up. Okay. Well, that kind of sounds like something someone would say that's bad. And uh, this is my nanny, babysitter, assistant, helper lady. Hello. Hello. She goes to Oklahoma. So. Morgan, how long have you been a nanny to Decker? Three years. Since 2021. Wow. Yeah. You and Gary's wife have done a great job because there's no way Decker turned out the way she did because of Gary. I'm just catching up on some of the comments here. And this is for everyone. You know who you are. Calm your freaky down. Just saying. Eric says, good thing Jake didn't put Bobby on. Could you imagine? <laughs> some of these comments, man. Jake Russ, Jake, you don't want to read the comments. That's oh, true. I, I can't even read these comments, man. You guys are terrible. <laughs> Gary, what are your thoughts on everyone seemingly being a big fan of your nanny? She's fantastic. She's the best. She is. That she is. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for the time. Gary's nanny needs her own emoji. This chat is this chat is going wild today, folks. All right. Richard Todd is watching the show in delay. Says just saw Gary's nanny. Interesting. What's so interesting about it? Top Cat says we need Scott to normalize the chat again. <laughs> uh... So are you not rooting for the U.S. in the Olympics? I'm Puerto Rican. It'd be sacrilegious. I mean, I have to. What do you mean? Move. You live in the United States of America. You are you were born in this country, correct? Yeah, but my family is from Puerto Rico, so I'm rooting for You can't root for both? No. You wouldn't root for the U.S. I'm rooting for the Puerto Rico in the Olympics right now. Okay, but what if the U.S. is in an event and Puerto Rico's not? Who are you rooting for? I guess, yeah, okay. I guess if, if, there's, if the Puerto Ricans don't have a dog in the fight, then Okay. Are you a communist, V-Man? No. Well, it kind of sounds like you are if you're not rooting for the United States. If the Puerto Ricans don't have a dog in the fight, then sure, I'll root for the U.S. Okay, Team USA is in the gold medal basketball game. Puerto Rico has already been eliminated. Who are you rooting for? They're playing Germany. Fine, I'll root for the U.S. Okay. You mean fine. You're acting like it's a chore to root for the country you were born in. Um, You've been to Puerto Rico once. All right, can we just get back to football? We cannot. We, we, we need to focus in on the fact you might be a communist. I'm not a communist. I give you the pledge. Uh, let, let's do a little pledge and we'll get back to football. All right. Bye. All right. All right. Come on. Give it to us. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to this republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Happy now? USA. US. That was tough. Pittsburgh Mike writes it. Which flag did Aaron Rodgers run onto the field with again? Remind me. The one on my hat. USA. USA. Chef Kevin says that's worse than Allen's Jet chant. I won't lie, V-Man's USA chant was Allen level bad. So we're getting ready to leave training camp. We're walking, and then we see Garrett Wilson signing. So we kind of stop. He stops signing. Then Sauce Gardner is signing, and we we get within arm's distance. I brought my favorite book, uh, You Play to Win the Game by Herm Edwards, and I got him to sign it. Oh, really? I'm got a picture with him. Oh, perfect day at Jet Camp. If you've never been to Jet Camp, do yourselves a favor, guys. I know tickets are hard to get. It's a special experience. If you have children who've never been, it gives you a different appreciation for the game. So there's my plug for Jet Camp. All right. You know, you're the man. I'm glad you had a great time. Thanks for calling. YouTube needs to pull a Twitch because on Twitch, you can choose whatever member you want to give to. You can give the streamer meme names like I like cheese or sniff my finger. Ladies and gentlemen, cheese fan. More of your calls right now. Ladies and gentlemen, Keith Best. Hello, Keith. Keith. Hey, Keith. Keith. Keith, are you familiar with the work of V-Man? Hey, Keith. Everyone smash their Keith Best emoji if you're an Asmaniac. Keith? Wakey, wakey. All right. Here's today's poll question. 
Who was better at falling asleep on the air? V-Man's up next. Hello, V-Man. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> V-Man, you up? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Line is right. Line in. Line is freaking out. Sorry. <laughs> that was the OG of sleeping on the show. Also, I'm worried about Keith Best's neck, man. He's going to be sore. That's a neck strand waiting to happen the way he's knocked out. All right, so Keith is still asleep. Let's go back to the second time B-Man fell asleep on the air. Let's go to this guy right now. Uh... <laughs> V-Man's up next. What's up, V-Man? Mm, good day. How you doing? I'm good, man. You sound like you just got up from a nap. I'm just mad, but no. You look well rested. No, honestly, I'm not. You sure I'm you were asleep? No, I wasn't. Yeah, but no, I'm just <laughs> sorry. I, I, I honestly, I can tell you right now, I'm just like totally blanking right now. We continue with your calls right now. Bobby Midnight joins us. Hello, Bobby. My guys, I don't think you can see me very good. Can you? Are you lying down, Bobby? What's happening here? Yeah, putting my foot up against the wall, remember? So, Can you see me? Oh, we see you. Oh, good. Okay, thank you. I'm going to let it know. <laughs> hey, Brandon, how you doing? <laughs> I'm, do I'm doing good. How are you? <laughs> well, I'm trying my best, you know. <laughs> Stop laughing, Jake. Okay, take me off full screen. Thank you. We can't see you if I don't go full screen. You're too far away. Like, you look how you normally look on the show from a size perspective. But, unfortunately, I need to zoom in. Otherwise, we can't see you. I, mm. I, think, I think that lampshade needs to be straightened a little bit. Okay, I will after the thing, okay? God, jeez. You know. Well, hold on, Bobby. I have, a, I have a new intro for you. Are you ready? I'm not going to be happy. Well, you know, I need to walk more to survive unless Jake is going live. Got to elevate my leg. I'm Bobby! All right, that's not too bad. Okay, I thought it was going to be even worse. Hector wants to know, are you posing for a... <laughs> Bobby, repeat that to me. Hit me like one of your French girls. <laughs> Bobby, can you please <laughs> fix the lampshade? <laughs> I can't reach it. I got your arm shake. Will you stop? Tom says yeah. the lampshade is driving him nuts, though. <laughs> Jay Quest wants to know, is that your belly button or something else? <laughs> Probably my belly button. <laughs> <laughs> Jake, you you always have a way to join the show 55 minutes in after we had all the Jets talk. A Gator wants to know, can Bobby bring the lampshade to the game? <laughs> I'm not. I'm already bringing the chair. I'm not bringing the lampshade to the game. Do you imagine joining <laughs> the show and you just see a guy laying on his couch with a crooked lampshade? <laughs> <laughs> I fixed my thing. You fixed the lamp? Yeah. Did you, though? Yes, it's already fixed. I straightened it out. Okay, now it's fixed, right, guys? Uh, Jake says it's mostly crooked the other way now. Oh, my God! <laughs> <laughs> Tom says Jake did not get his money's worth. It has to be totally fixed. <laughs> Are you happy now? It looks good. Is it fixed now? Well, it's... Oh, my goodness. What? <laughs> when it is it fixed or what? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? You don't see it? What? My screen. What, it's crooked again? No, well, yeah. Oh. You got two lamps now, Bobby? All right, that's me. That's me. Okay, I see now. I think you have two lamps. I got one lamp. My screen is saying there's two now. That's Gator. Gator put that up. Gator, stop it. It's just another one of those silly fucking Gator moments. <laughs> Which one is, is real? Hey, that's the best to go. It's the old lamp. That's it. Right there. Uh, stop it. It's done. It's done. Okay, get the other stuff off my screen, please. Is that better now? It looks great, Bobby. Nice, nicely done. Okay, yeah, about time, Jake. Brandon, I'm sorry for this interruption, okay? <laughs> it's okay. Your show is one of one. That I, I, I had to hide myself from laughing behind the scenes because it was so it was so damn funny. But I had to yeah. mute my mic several times today for laughing so hard. Joseph Michelangelo just sent me an email of what the Bobby lamp emoji could look like. There it is. <laughs> so absurd, you have to laugh. <laughs> you have two people in your cage now? 
Uh, yeah, Gertrude got lonely, so I went and got Prudence to hang out with her. Ladies and gentlemen, Gator McCluskey was one of the 12 Asmaniacs who ordered the shirt. The Bobby Midnight 2024 shirt is on, baby. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Folks, this is our next emoji. Ooh, we have another that party. one was pretty dumb. All right. Oh. He changed my name. I, I'm sick of this. I don't like Bobby LB. Yeah, All right. Bro. Looking good, Clancy. <laughs> the Asmaniac Bucket is in the building, baby. <laughs> Oh, there it is. Yep. Cheers to you, man. Cheers to you, brother. Tarot says, Jake Asman merch everywhere. Beth Page Chris. Whether you're PBM or even if you're Jake Quest, go with the Kenobel jersey. Are you kidding me? Best listeners, man. You remember yesterday when I said the Jets should sign a veteran backup tight end, and I was called a Rucker hater. Well, guess what? We signed a veteran tight end today. They signed Anthony Ferkser who yeah. is a fullback slash tight end. They cut Nick Bauden, who is a fullback. The Jets making this move has nothing to do with Jeremy Ruckard. I don't even know what to say other than this. What did I do? Huh? What did I do? Hey, that's, that's perfect because I got the real Jet fans here. <laughs> exactly why I played that. Beautiful. Ruth writes in, if we keep running our players to the ground and practice, these things will continue to happen. Let's pull the reins a bit. It's football, Ruth. Are you dumb or stupid? It's football. They don't do two-a-days anymore. They, they barely hit. They, no one plays in the preseason. What are you talking about? There's no tackling going on. It's basically two-hand touch with pads on. Hey, I heard you're taking your geometry regions uh, August 20th. I heard Gary's nanny's going to come to you, so that's pretty awesome. Take some pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Ace wants to know, did the stick get removed from your butt? I, I still have yet to go on with Bobby. It's It's got to happen. The only info that I have is that he's on after Jake. Unless <laughs> I have like post notifications on. Maybe that's my next step here is I got to turn post notifications on. Well, you know, I need to find Matt O'Leary. He's supposed to come on my show. I want his butt on a stick. Bobby. The, the merch came in. It's a really, really nice hoodie, man. I'm excited for this season. Let's go. We've been waiting for football for months. Ain't no ramping shit down. You hear me? Okay? <laughs> we ready, baby. We proud. You hear me? Make sure you go get your Jake Osmond merch. Hassan ready. We need you out on that damn field. Oh, Lou Fashion New, let's get it ready, son. Don't act like we ain't got the best roster in the AFC East, baby. I never really get worried too much in training camp. Oh, the pass rush isn't getting home. They're not getting pressure on Rodgers. What, what's going on? A week after, we're talking about how the pass rush actually looks pretty damn good. Well, the offensive line, it's not good enough. What, what are we going to do? Breathe. They look so much better than last season. The entire team looks so much better than last season. The offense is winning days now where they weren't last season for at least two weeks. If you're thinking that this is a Super Bowl caliber roster, all the last few days have shown is that your opinion is probably right. This is an insanely talented team that doesn't have the entire offense or defense at their disposal right now, and it makes them so incredibly dangerous. When are you taking a shower? You probably stink. Oh, yeah, take a shower. That's a good idea. I got Old Spice on, so it smells nice. You want to smell my armpits? Mud cracks and all that What's stuff. What's up with your mic? Why do you sound like you're underwater? No, I don't. Probably not. Stop I'm moving sorry. the mic. I'm sorry for that. Bobby, uh, maybe lift the mic up a little bit. Okay, how's that better? Right there. Just stop. So, no, no. I think I you think stink, Bobby. Stinks. Like you smell. I wear the rotary. You can't smell me. Now, like, your, your stench is just, it, it is, I, I, I smell it in my apartment here in New York. Oh, thanks for embarrassing me. Okay, I'm done, Nick. Have a good day. Wait, you're done? You're the one? Oh, okay, I guess he's done. You don't call people stink at all on the show. You call me stinky. I washed up. I put the run on. You embarrassed me. No, so, I didn't. I was yes. joking with you, and you got all butthurt and offended, Bobby. That's what happened. You said, do I want to smell your pits? And I jokingly said, no, you stink. You smell and played the he stinks drop. I, I told you I put the on. I washed up. Uh, I, I'm glad you called in. The vibes are high with the Jets. Rodgers was dicing up, folks. Bobby Midnight took a shower today. All is well. Look, I got my Jets. I got my... Uh-oh, is Keith mooning us again? Here we go. Uh, Dave writes in, Cheats fan, would you be decapitated for a three-peat? No. No.
Uh, Lane wants to know, are you in college? I graduated from college. Did you go to I college with Knoebel? No, I did not. I did not go to college with Knoebel. Lane wrote in, can you cut him off? Lane's had enough of you. Gee, thanks, Lane. I appreciate it. Losing Lane is like when you lose Cronkite, you know? You lose the country. That's like Lane Kerner here. You lose the Lane train, you lose the country. That's interesting. Yeah, I'll just kick off Charles. Anyway, how do you feel about Al Lazar? Wait, Lane, hold on. What did Charles say specifically that irked you? That whole rapping thing, I did not get. Yeah, so how do you feel about Al Lazar? I don't know when the first preseason game is. Let me get to the paper. A lot of Olympic coverage. Oh, Texas and Bears. I hope the Bears win. Bye-bye. Thank you for taking my call. Ladies and gentlemen, the lane train. As electric as ever. Kings stay kings. It's It's time time for for Jets Jets Worldwide. 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 Get ready to match the stars on Jets Match Game Worldwide. Fake, what new merch stuff are you going to get ready to have coming up? Coming soon to the merch store, we're going to be selling a few things. We got the cheese fan leg that he found, his neighbor's leg. He's going to sign it. If you act now, we'll throw in cheese fan headphones. We got the V-Man's daughter pack, which is going to come with the Puerto Rican hat and Puerto Rican flag. And then if you act now, we're going to throw in Linus. Scott donated the pop of this hair that he cut off, though. We're going to give you that along with his glasses. And, of course, they're Carly, though. You've been watching the best of the Jake Hasman Show. Be sure and check out these and other great episodes and look out for more coming soon. J-E-T-S. Jets, Jets, Jets.